How's it going guys, Mr. Boss for the win here, and in today's Red Dead Redemption 2 video, I'm going to be telling you guys why you absolutely should not buy this guy's book in San Denis. So if you've been playing the game long enough, or you just happen to hear this mysterious voice on the street shouting nonsense about how he can make you rich, how your life is going to be so much better if you read this book, you might have heard this but never actually stumbled upon the actual stand in which he's at. Well, this guy's name is Timothy Donahue, and he's selling a book that is the irrefutable guide to instant riches. And you might be thinking to yourself, well, that sounds kind of interesting. I wonder if this book gives us some actual insight on ways to make money in Red Dead Redemption 2. So you might be tempted to check out what this guy has to say. And if you actually go up to him and engage in conversation, this is what he'll tell you. Partner. Hello, friend. Do you want to be rich? Sure, I'll take one. That'll be $50. $50 for a book? And cheap at the price. You read this and you'll want to give me a hundred more. Morning. Sure. The best investment you'll ever make, my friend. Don't be afraid, don't be shy. I promise great riches. In exchange for a book, read this book, follow my simple guidelines, and opulence awaits. Who doesn't want to own a palace, employ countless servants, and rule over their own kingdom? Now you can, as thanks to my book, you'll be extremely rich. This is what America was made for, the chance for the cream to rise to the top. It's time you proved you were cream, and not milk! Listen! Ignore me at your peril! At your peril, I say! You'll be poor, and I'll be rich! And so will those of you with the wisdom to pay attention, to learn from the best, from the kind of rich fellow who doesn't give a fool a break, but cares about those who care about themselves. Come on, I want to help you. Okay, so as you guys heard there, this guy is promising that you'll live in castles and have servants and your life will be instantly changed by reading this book. Now, you guys saw the price there. It was $50. Now, in 2019, that might not be a ton of money to pay for something like that. In fact, most video games you're going to buy are more than $50. However, remember this is in 1899. Now, doing some simple calculations, $50 in 1899 turns out to be $1,513.45 in 2019. According to the Bureau of Labor Statistics Consumer Price Index, prices in 2019 are 2,927% higher than they were in 1899, and the dollar experienced an average inflation rate of 2.88% per year during that period. So in simple terms, $50 in 1899 is equivalent to the purchasing power of $1,000. $513.45 in 2019, which is a total of difference of $1,463.45 over 120 years. So now that you know that price, imagine paying $1,513.45 for a book. That's why Arthur had the reaction that he did because that's what the equivalent of doing something like that today would be. It's insanity, or that book better give you the secret to making tons and tons of money. So the title of the book is called Get Rich Quick, and the description is The True and Legitimate Guide to Wealth, Prosperity, and Joy by Timothy Donahue. Now, typically when we come across pamphlets or articles or books, I will actually read the articles to you, but I'm going to fast forward times like four here, and you guys can see just how long this actually is. Like, if I were to try and read this entire thing, it would legitimately take probably like 10 or 15 minutes. 
So I'm not going to do that because that is an incredibly long amount of time. However, if you would like to pause at any point in time during this video and just simply read the pages as I go along, please feel free to do so. However, if it wasn't obvious enough by now, this is not a legitimate book. This is just a scam. There are no money-making methods in here. There is nothing that tells you how to get rich quick in game. It's the most confusing thing ever. Like I tried to read a couple of paragraphs and I literally felt like I was listening to one of Dutch's monologues telling me how I need some faith or something like that. It was just so confusing. Nothing makes sense here. In fact, the only thing that I think is interesting is the final bit. Essentially, what Timothy Donahue wants you to do is give this book to as many people as possible. It's almost like he's trying to start his own pyramid scheme. Um, and then he says, yours, Timothy Donahue, acquire and share additional copies of this wondrous publication for only 20 cents. Send money order to Timothy Donahue, Elm Street, Lexington, Kentucky. So we do get a little bit of background. We know he's not from Lemoyne, which is where we are right now. In case you guys are curious, Lemoyne is based off of the state Louisiana in the United States. So Kentucky is close by, but certainly not like walking distance. It would definitely be, you know, a little bit of a journey in order to get there. So now that you know this book is a complete scam and is obviously just a way for Timothy Donahue to get $50 at a time, you might be wondering if there's any way in which you can get revenge. I mean, this guy took $50, which is a lot of money. Again, that's the equivalent of over $1,500 in today's currency. So it's a lot of money that that guy basically just ripped off from us. So again, it begs the question, can you get your money back? Well, you actually have the opportunity to. If you actually come back a couple of days later, you can meet him one more time where you can have another conversation with him. No, of course you don't. Who does? I don't. I'm very, very rich. Exceedingly rich. Let me help you become exceedingly rich by my book. Read my book. It's the wisest investment you'll ever make. You talk a lot of shit, my friend. Hello, friend. Do you want to be rich? I already got the book. Oh. Well, that's terrific. How are you getting along? Well, I'm clearly not rich. Come on, buddy. You gotta work harder. Read the equations. Follow the 38 steps to wealth. Be a man. I think I'd like my money back. We'd all like our money back, buddy. Caveat emptor, as my old man used to say. Well, my old man used to say different things. Now give me my money. Get out of here. You get out of here. Piss off. Okay, so as you guys saw there, Timothy Donahue runs off into the back alleyway where you have the chance to uh, basically chase him down. And that's exactly what I did. I ended up hog tying him. And the first thing I wanted to do is seeing if I looted him, what would happen. And it turns out if you loot him, you get your money back and then a little bit more. I got $50.51 from him, which means that I think we were the only person in that time span to buy one of his books. Because if he was charging $50 each... Well, he only has $50 on him, so that means that no one else was interested in his book. Uh, I also got a gold wedding ring off of him and some bitters too. However, you do get negative honor points for doing this, which I think is a little bit of a ripoff. Like, this guy stole money from us, and uh, we get negative honor for uh, you know, trying to get our money back. That doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Now, you do need to be careful here because uh, if you do actually try and kidnap him, uh, unlike the super racist guy, like the eugenics supporter that we looked at the other day, kidnapping this guy will cause the lawmen and the authorities to become aggravated onto you. So there is no get out of jail free card when it comes to Timothy Donahue, although I believe that he deserves it because he is a total scam artist. And then from there, I simply just wanted to have some fun with our friend Timothy Donahue. I ended up chasing him up and down around the swamp. 
there really wasn't much else for us to do here. This guy was just going to basically scream and run away, although that did get a ton of lawmen on us. So bottom line, should you buy this book from Timothy Donahue? Like if you see this guy for the first time and you legitimately think to yourself, hey, this could be a cool way to, you know, get extra money in Red Dead Redemption 2, the answer is no. All you're going to get is a worthless book that you'll have the opportunity to get your money back a couple days later, but at the risk of acquiring a bounty and, you know, forcing him to run away, it's really just not worth it. But anyways, that's all the information that I've got for you guys in this video today. Hopefully you did enjoy. That right there is why you should not buy the book from uh, Timothy Donahue and Red Dead Redemption 2. If you guys did go on to enjoy this video though, a like rating would of course be awesome. And subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new or you like daily Red Dead Redemption 2 videos like this. With all the way guys, like I said, thanks so much for watching. Take care and I'll see you guys in the next video.